And we're back in Columby, Minecraft City, population one. Lockdown is over, building has recommenced as we fly over the glorious Columby, over the mole, where there's approximately no people, and over the horseways where there's approximately no people. For episode 25, there's a nice apartment down there. Oh, look, what's this? AQ Aqua. What could that mean? It must be the Cotland Bee Aquarium. In today's episode, swim with the fishies. Yes, this is this week's project. As you can see, it's now finished. The Cotland Bee International Aquarium. Um, there's no sharks in it. I'll explain why later. We took this ordinary parcel of land, killed all the animals that were on it, like this one and this one and this cute little thing here. Off you go. And we started building this enormous structure out of copper. And, uh, you know, we did it all in the rain because basically it's just rained all week in real life and it's rained all week in Cotland B as well. So there we go. Um, real life uh, being mirrored there by the virtual world. Let me just kill those animals. They're just animal animals. Just keep killing these animals. There we go. Quickly speeding this up for your and enjoyment. Uh, we went for a variety of uh, stone types here. The idea is that this is a kind of a aquarium, it's got uh, two or three tanks in it, but the tanks actually uh, um, appears to have more tanks because you're actually looking at the same tank quite a lot of the time. You move around the tanks in different settings, in different scenes, and uh, you see them from different angles, which gives you the impression that the aquarium is much bigger than it actually is. It is a walk around experience, so you will walk around it uh, in a particular route and you will come out of a particular part. So, this is the first tank here that I'm currently building. Uh, the uh, It's got like a bit above where the water's going to be and a bit below it. Not a tunnel, that'll be a different one. The blue um, lapel like stuff there, that's the walkway. Uh, which uh, will guide you around, it's supposed to simulate water, if, you know, in an aquarium and everything. It should. Uh, this is the um, side near the casino, so I'm leaving this kind of gap down the side here that you see on the left. Uh, I don't know, maybe I'll put a waterway down or a horseway down there, or, or just a path. Uh, but I'm going to leave it, uh, I'll leave some space there, just for uh, future developments. Don't want these to be too high next to each other. Uh, okay, so there we go looking pretty neat. The front of it kind of lips over a little bit and uh, we'll just pop that copper up there. Now, what else have I been building this week? Well, in the, the real world, I actually bought a load of Duplo. Not for me, obviously, uh, but I couldn't resist playing with it for the first time in 40 years. And this is what I made. I made a McDonald's Duplo drive through Yay! Look at that. It's got a little big M there. It's got an order point, a couple of windows. Oh, look, it's Olaf ordering some chicken nuggets. Yay! And it's Elsa who's in between the films at the moment, who is serving there on minimum wage. Now, back to the build, and as you can see, I've cut forward quite a bit. Uh, there's this mountain here that I'm currently demolishing. Uh, you know, hindsight's a great thing, isn't it? Because if I had a hindsight now, would I go back and start with like a flat world? Mm, maybe, it would make my life a lot easier. I spend most of my time just smashing up mountains and stuff. But I actually quite like having to contend with the landscape. So I think I'd regret it if I had gone back and started with just like a flat plain landscape. Because this uh, like mountainy hilly bit here forces me into making some design decisions which uh, make a, a much more interesting uh, final part of the aquarium, which you'll see in a minute. Uh, so I'm trying to incorporate this last kind of bit of this mountain into the aquarium. So basically I don't have to knock it down. And there's going to be a little walk through there with um, some attractions on there, I know maybe a bat cave or something like that. It was my original idea. In the end I went for turtles, um, which, you know, uh, we'll show you the turtles at the end. But we have a little tour around, because we are going to see this finished in this episode, and we are going to have a walk around, and we're going to see all the fishes. Uh, this uh, building here, um, this mountain just really thinning in the way. So, more of the floor more of the wall. This copper is a really nice material by the way. It rusts a little bit though, doesn't it? Never realised that. Um, so we're going to have a tank as you come in in the Calac foyer. Uh, Cotton B is of course a cashless city. Uh, we are very IT savvy in Cotton B. So there's not any kind of tickets, booths or anything like that in this building. You buy your ticket online and then you um, scan it through the uh, like scanner when you enter. There's going to be like a gate line. You go in there a bit like the underground uh, tracks are 
Right, let's build this first tank with water. Now, this is the first time I've really played with the fish. The, the, over the whole kind of year, I didn't do any videos. That was when most of the um, aquatics update came out. So this is my first time experimenting with fish. Um, and that first tank there, it yeah, looks all right, doesn't it? Some little tropical fish in there for you to have a look at if you come in. Not a lot going on there, could do with some scenery. Jumping ahead then, let's have a look. You can see how it's kind of compartmentalized inside. You can see how you kind of loop around the tanks. Um, this is gonna be the main tank at the back of the building. And um, it's the one with the kind of tunnel that every aquarium has got one of these, and it's not very original at all. But it's one of these ones with the tunnel. So you can go through the tunnel and uh, look all around you and be in awe and uh, hold everyone else up around you because you think you're the only person in the place. That's what happens at the warning hall and all the sea life centers. There's a massive backlog to get through the tunnel because everyone stops and sits down as a picnic there. They need to make the tunnels wider. Or, or put like a conveyor belt in. One of them uh, walkways have at airports and some underground stations. Travelator, there you go. You stand on it, it moves you along. And that way when it, it's really busy, you speed it up. Um, you know, Plenty of, plenty of opportunities to see the fish. You know, it's a tunnel. A tunnel. Just, if you want to be immersed by the fish, just stick your head really close to the glass. And so, as you can see, it's jutting out now. This tank is almost finished. I put some sand down there uh, uh, to make it look a bit more uh, underwatery. Some lights and things, just to make it a bit more decoration y. Decoration y? That's not a word, is it? Pretty. And uh, I'm going to use some um, of the uh, underwater corner as well so I'm going to put in some uh, reef plants and uh, kelp and stuff like that to make it look a little bit more pretty than it already is but you'd think the rain would be filling this up wouldn't you it isn't it's is still raining it rained through this entire build this entire build non-stop rain constantly constant rain it's like the real world uh, let's put some uh, nice uh, bushes back there some flowers let's fill this with some water shall we well, let's start. Now, this took a while. This did take a while, I will say that. Filling this tank with water took a while. And getting rid of all those little bits of blocks where there's like currents and stuff, that was annoying. But uh, it is now all full of water. And then put some fishes in there as well. Look at that. Loads and loads of water. No gaps. Luckily, no gaps. Tedious, I would say. I would describe that as tedious. So here we are at the Cotland Bee International Aquarium. Let's have a walk around. Let's see what it's all about. Here we are. Here we are in the entrance foyer. Very nice. Look at that dangling lights. Very artistic. Don't look at that bit in the background that I'm finished yet. That's the staff only area. I put a bit more decoration in here for these tropical fish as you come in. It's nice, isn't it? Uh, and then as you walk around, here's the gate. Mobile phone ready. Oh, there you go. You pay. You can come in. We've got a bit of a tank of bubbles. Not a lot going on in there. And we've got some puffer fish underneath us in this tank here, but you can't really see them. There's a couple of tropical fish in there as well. This nice backlit wall with um, flowers on it. And there we are, the puffer fish tank. Hello, puffer fish. Oh, they're a little baby puffer fish. Aren't they cute? Yeah. Yeah, not really. And then this is the main tank here, so we've got tropical fish. Now, there were some dolphins in this tank. Oh, we've got some squid there, some glowing squid. Ooh, it's stuck on the floor for some reason. Um, this main tank did have dolphins in it. However, it hasn't anymore. I don't know why. Maybe the squid killed the dolphins. The squid killed the dolphins? Maybe they needed air or something. Oh, and check this out. Cotland Bee Micro C, now health and safety. Uh, it's got a fire escape. Yes, there is one small fire escape in the building. So in case of fire in an aquarium, which let's be honest, a building full of water shouldn't really happen. But if there is a fire in the aquarium, you can now use the fire escape, provided you're that side of the building. The other side of the building, you might just jump in with the fish. It'll be safe. Uh, so there we go. We've got lots of squid in there, tropical fish going on, um, glowing squid, normal squid. There were dolphins. I don't know what's happened with the dolphins. I mean, do the dolphins need air as well? I think they do, don't they? But in Minecraft, do they need air? So I've basically just suffocated them to death by putting them in this sealed tank. Right, okay, that is duly noted for the uh, Mark II Aquarium not to do that. But enjoy these fish and enjoy the, uh, the kelp, uh, the very tall kelp, and enjoy the um, sand. It's very nice. 
I don't know why he's coming out of there. Got a little staff only door there. Let's go up here. Again, another view of the tank from a different angle, which is nice. And then we'll, that's the exit down there. We'll come back to that in a minute. Here's the top floor. So the top floor, you've got this kind of dark, secluded viewing area. So you can get a really good look at the fish in the tank and see those dolphins when they're not dead. Up close and personal. Take a look at this. So, so atmospheric. What an amazing aquarium. I love it. You spend all day here in the darkness looking into the aquarium if you want to. Let's have a look down here then. What else do we have? Well, well what's this? It's a little pond or a pool. It's got cod and salmon in it. Yeah, you can stick your hand in and touch them and stuff. It's really nice. It was not. It's cod in it. Uh, for some reason, all the cod are kind of congregated up at one end. I'm not sure why they've done that. And then you come around the main tank, the upstairs section of the main tank, for another experience of being um, looking at nothing again in there. Yeah, and, and again, you get this nice kind of dark area. You can see right down, and you can see all the people in the tunnel from here as well, from where thou have just come. Right, past the petting pond, pool, or the court. Maybe get a cod for your dinner, maybe you'll sell them. You know, catch your own cod. That's a good idea. Uh, there's a little cafe here that's available for rent, it's a concession, £120 a week rent. Profit share. And then here we are over reception again where you can look down into that little tropical fish tank. You can see the puffer fish that aren't there because they're not falling in that section. See the dangly lights. And then we're at the front of the building again where we have another tank here with um, some tropical fishing. So when you're up here, obviously if you've bought a cup of tea from the cafe, you can sit and have your cup of tea near the tank is a really good idea. Right, here's a little outdoory, indoory bit. As you can see, it's a bit like a greenhouse. It's got lots of pretty flowers in it. And then you've got an aerial view here of the turtle tank. Yay, turtles! And they are down there. They are down there somewhere. You can't really see them from up here. But let's go down and have a look at the turtles on the way out. Okay, I've named these turtles. Uh, they are called Bill and Ben for some reason, even though one of them's female. Bill and Ben like the flower for them. Probably a reference to them, I guess. Oh, look, that glowing squid is down there. Just glowing away. They're good because you can see them. It's still raining outside, not a surprise. There we are, here's the turtles. Bill and Ben. Yay, just chilling out in the tank. It's way too small for them. Cruelty to animals, that's what this is. Cruelty to animals. Oh. My beverage today is Council Pop. Council Pop, if you're interested, is Waterfall Tap. Right, there we go, we've done, let's go. What an experience that was. I mean, that was just phenomenal. I've never experienced anything quite like that. Uh, we've got a wavy pattern there on the front of the building that's supposed to look like uh, water in waves. Uh, down on the pavement, just as you go in, there is also that wave pattern and also like a cod in the pavement stones there. It's supposed to look like a fish, that one on the right. I don't think it does. I'm not sure what it looks like. And then an A and a Q on the side. I've written an aquarium on the side because that's a lot of letters. And it would look stupid because it would probably stretch off the edge of the building. So I've just wrote AQ, aquarium, just to make things a bit simpler. There we go. You can't see anything in the distance. It's absolutely pouring it down. I nearly said something else then. You can see the casino, which is still not finished. One day I'll finish the casino. Not today, though. Maybe next week. Okay. Let's have a look around the side. Uh, down here, as you can see, this building is humongous inside and uh, tall and quite imposing. At the front there, we've got the same kind of AQ and wavy things again. I don't know, what is that doing there? Let's magic that out of the way. Ta da! Off it goes. And that's it. That is the aquarium. Our latest project finished, complete, ready for visitors, paying guests. Lovely jubbly. Next time, what we're going to do? Well, after you subscribe so you can see the next episode, hit that button now and like it if you've already done so. We're going way. Way. 
way out of town. We're going to explore some out of town uh, places that uh, I've never been to before. Well, I mean, I have a building, but you know, never been to on video before. Uh, exciting. Could it be a farm? Could it be a secret government depot? Could it be both? Probably is. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Oh, <laughs>